Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here to share with you my entry for the Turned Up Embellishment Swap which is hosted by Tamika aka Scrap the World here on YouTube. And for this swap we had to make a tag and the tag had to have some type of ribbon charm or embellishment at the top. We had to include at least three 24 inch pieces of trims and a handmade flower that is made from fabric and then two embellishments that we made so this is what i have done um as you can see i have it all packaged up and ready to go but i have um several different laces actually i have five and i'll pull this one here and i kind of went with the sewing theme and I'll show you what I did um, with the tag because my tag is not your standard tag. I used a spool, um, which was a file that Regina from the Cutting Cafe had given away. And I used that to wrap, wrap the trims. And I have five different trims. Um, I have a cream color one a kind of toffee chocolate colored one there you go then I have this jute one that has sequins in the middle and I'll show it to you out of the bag here in a second then I have a brown lace and then a ivory color lace and with the swap you could choose from two things you could either choose vintage or you could choose shabby chic so I went with vintage this is my handmade flower, which is made out of a brown color coffee satin. It's a crinkle satin. And then I added a um, gold tonish butterscotch tone bling in the center. I use EK Success Punch to just punch the edges of the topper. And I added a paper rose. Oh, and I one other thing I guess I didn't show you or say anything about I um tied a sheer ribbon across the top and then tied some pearls on there to hang down on the back there is a pack of flowers goodies that are for each one of the ladies in my swap and then on the back I have done two stick pins um at the top of the stick pins are spools there you go. Now you can see it better. And one of the spools I have wrapped with jute. Jute, rather. <laughs> jute. Ha! I wrapped with jute. And then um, I wrapped the other one with some wood grain ribbon. I dyed the spools with vintage or walnut. Vintage. Either walnut stain or vintage photo. I don't remember which. And then there are just various beads on there and it is on a little sewing machine so actually i'll show you quickly and my name is on the back ladies and then my information is on the underside of the sewing machine but i'll show you what i have done um i used the cutting cafe file let me move this out of the way i used a cutting cafe file which is a sewing um, card file and then I cut that out and layered it so this is brown pieces like the the needle area and then there's the wheel and the thread and so I cut it, it the topper out of a paper that has like keys scissors measuring tape um, out of a stack I think it's called Regent Street from Recollections and then I made a little stand for the stick pins and then I stuffed it with cotton and um, taped it on with score tape so that's how the, the stick pins are being held and then this is what the spool looks like and so Tamika this particular one is yours that has this button down here because they'll all be the same so when you open yours up um, that way you know which one you can open to show people if you want to open it up when you do your video. Um, 
anyway we also had to include a stamped image on the tag so I used this dress form stamp it's a wood stamp that I got from I believe Joann's either Joann's or Michael's so I just used the vintage color ink and the tags I just picked kind of a vintagey wallpaper tag and it's the same pattern but two different colors so and then the back of the tag is just plain but I punched out the holes there to tie the ribbon in there anyway um, on the back of the sewing machine is my complete information ladies if you are looking for that so otherwise I just put um, my YouTube name having trouble here just put my YouTube name um, on the bag so that you can identify me that way and then it's the close-up of the flower outside of the bag I said it's a vintage flower it was pretty quick and easy to do I watched a tutorial and basically you just cut out about two and a half inch circles folded in half you stitch on the end together that you folded in half and then you just keep doing it around and you get six of them and then I just made a bigger um, layer and layered them on top and sewed them together so that is my flower and you could manipulate them a little bit to get it to be even and see how you like it because you can fold the things up or down or however you want to do it so all right ladies that is my swap oh and I did promise that I would show um that one trim with the sequins in the middle before I left so here is that trim and it's just a trim with you but it has the sequins down the middle anyway ladies that is my swap I hope that the other ladies in my group will enjoy them Tamika thank you so much for hosting and um, everybody thank you for watching you all have a great and very very blessed day bye bye